Hi. In some of my videos and writings, I have mentioned a personal transformation I had some years ago. That transformation had to do with the finding of my true self. Now I'd like to tell you about my second trans transformation that began about three months ago and is just now ending. It was 1979, I believe. The name of the place was the Harlequin, a coffee house in Cambridge, Massachusetts, right by Harvard University. I loved the Cambridge ambiance and the fact that I was well known and admired in the greater Boston area as a classical guitarist and singer of continental songs. It was a Saturday night. The place was packed. They wouldn't stop applauding. I had recently been initiated into the world of flamenco. The audience wanted more, so I gave it to them. But I wasn't prepared to give so much. I had just learned some of the techniques of flamenco, and now I was trying to perform them as if I had been a pro at it. I was trying to perform a technique that requires strumming with the index finger and tapping with the ring finger on the soundboard of the guitar all at the same time. I couldn't do it right. I kept strumming and they kept applauding. To make a long story short, I tore a ligament in my right hand. Needless to say, I was not able to perform classically on the guitar anymore. I became very depressed because people wanted to hear me and I was not able to perform for them anymore. I still sang and accompanied, accompanied myself by using one finger, but this didn't satisfy me. The fancy accompaniments to my singing I was no longer able to do. I left Cambridge and went to Los Angeles where I vegetated a few years while trying to make the fingers of my right hand work. This complete story is told in my two CD program called The Story of My Transformation and How You Too Can Transform. Now let's skip over a time period of many years. What I went through psychologically, intellectually, and physically during this time is too depressing to tell on this day of celebration. It is a celebration of my second transformation. It began about three months ago when the thought came to me that I should try to make my right hand work again just for the hell of it. Now, mind you, this is after 30 years without playing. I felt that with a personal intention and will acquired through my first transformation, I might be able to make my hand work now. What I have gone through the past three months led bit by bit to the completing of the second transformation presently. I will explain. You know, muscles have memory. They really do. As I engaged in various ways to make my fingers work, all the emotions connected with the compositions, the pain of the loss, the situations surrounding me at the time when I was performing successfully, the loneliness, and many other things have been surfacing as memories to an unbelievable degree as a result of focusing on the muscles of the hand. I'm talking about practicing three to four hours per day now. Also, the insecurity of not knowing if I was wasting my time or not, or even if this problem was on the way to disappearing, brought a doubt that manifested itself in mighty in nightly pains in my legs. I would go to sleep without sleep while experimenting and practicing in my mind during the night. 
I would go into the alpha state sometimes <clears throat> and get glimpses as to what I had to try in the practice sessions the next day. <clears throat> sometimes one technique had to be abandoned as another took its place. Meanwhile, I began to notice some improvement. Then the fear of losing that improvement would come back again and again and I found myself having to get up in the middle of the night just to try some right hand trick to assure myself that I was on the right track. I tried everything. The Segovia School, the Julian Bream School, the John Williams School, the Aaron Shearer School, the left fingertip touch, the right fingertip touch, wrist out, wrist in, etc., etc. Then I cognited one day that my hand is my hand and will indicate to me how it likes to perform on the instrument after having been injured. Now, of course, this would not be true for those that were just beginning the study of this beautiful instrument. But the realization that it is my hand was the beginning of the solutions. After an injury of muscles or ligaments, one has to forget all logical contemporary advice and experiment with himself and allow the part of the body with the injury to tell him how to proceed in healing itself. So, through tedious experimentation, I found the position for my hand that allows the ligaments and muscles to generate themselves. They are now beginning to work. And I am already playing some easy compositions. The thrill of it is orgasmic, almost scary. So my plan is to play for you, starting with very easy pieces as I prepare them. I ask you to be my audience and encourage me as I prepare my old repertoire and play a new old piece for you every once in a while. This will give me something to look forward to and some enjoyment for you, I hope. Thank you. Okay, these are the two easy pieces which I've chosen to begin the program with. The first one is uh, Mask and Folk Song, arranged for guitar by myself, and the second one is the well-known tune, Green Sleeves, and here we go. Thank you. 